Hey, and welcome back to Cooking with Ro. This week we have something special to kick off the start of fall. Quick and easy baked apples. To start, we're going to need several fresh apples. I like to use the Pink Lady variety. I find it has the best combination of sweetness and tartness, and it's great for baking. Cinnamon. I prefer using Cylon cinnamon because it's lighter in texture and has less curamin, a potentially liver-damaging compound compared to the usual supermarket variety of cassia cinnamon. Raw honey. Currently, I fancy the cinnamon whipped honey I got at a local country store. Brown sugar. Because why not add more sweetness into your life? And lastly, unsalted butter. To start, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Let's get started. Alright, first we're going to take our pan and cover it with aluminum foil. This helps keep it all nice and tidy. If you're using glassware though, you can opt out of this step if you'd like. Next, we're going to take our washed apples and core them. We're just going to hollow out the inside part of it, take out the core, but leave a floor underneath so our apple can be a well for our spices and our sweeteners. Normally, I would use a small paring knife for this task, not a serrated one as you see above. Sadly, the tip of mine broke, so we must make do. But if you have a small paring knife, that's the safest way to go. Baked apples are quite a staple up in the northeast of the United States. It's perfect for when you want an apple pie, but you don't have the time or patience for it. Plus, they're cute and individual sized. This recipe is just a base. A lot of people like to add nutmeg, allspice, pecans, oats, or even bourbon, which is delicious by the way. It's also great a la mode prepared with some vanilla ice cream. Now it's time to dress our apples. We're going to begin by adding a small layer of sugar. You're going to want it to coat parts of the sides and about maybe a sixth of the way of the apple at the base. Up next, let's sprinkle on our cinnamon. Season it to taste. I like to go a bit heavy handed here. Now we add our butter to the center of the core. I use roughly half a tablespoon of butter. Since I have four apples, I cut two slabs of butter, halve them into four pieces, and then place them in the center of the cavity in our apple. After we add in our butter, let's take our raw honey and with the spoon, gently pour it onto the apple. This is going to cover most of the space in our apple. As I mentioned before, the honey I'm using is whipped with cinnamon to add even more flavor, but feel free to experiment with other sorts of honey infusions. Did you know that the earliest recipe for baking apples was in the 1685 London cookbook, The Accomplished Cook? The apple recipes were Pipe and pie, pipe and tart, and pippin tart. This British classic made its way to the US during the colonial era and found abundantly in the Northeast region. It was featured in many New England cookbooks of yore. To this day, it's still a New England classic for the fall that you can find in many fairs. It's perfect for an autumn in Boston. Though this recipe may as well be as old as fire and apples themselves. There is historical evidence of this method across all human history and traversing all sorts of geographies. Archaeologists have found carbonized remains of apples in prehistoric lake dwellings in Switzerland, dating back to the Iron Age. Even in the earliest writings of China, Egypt, and Babylon, records were found that mentioned that man understood the art of budding and grafting fruit trees as long as 20 centuries ago. And here we are, 
still enjoying the fruits of that knowledge today. Now that we've poured in the honey, let's top it off with another layer of sugar. And a touch more of cinnamon to finish it off. Now it's time to place them in the oven. You're going to want to bake these until the apples are soft, which can be anywhere between 30 to 50 minutes. So be sure to check. I like to bake them roughly 45 minutes. That seems to be the best for me. The best way to check if they're done is to stick a knife through and see if it goes through smoothly. If it does, then they're soft enough. Once they're cooked through, remove them from the oven and let them rest a few minutes. Watch out, they're piping hot. Serve them as is, maybe with some ice cream, or pair them with your meal. These baked apples are a delight in every bite. I hope you get to enjoy them this fall as much as I will. This concludes today's video. As always, if you found this any bit entertaining or informative, please be sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more easy recipes to add to your life, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next upload. I have a lot of exciting stuff coming this fall as we ramp up for my favorite time of the year. So comment down below if you have any requests or suggestions for a recipe or ingredient you'd like to be featured. See you next week. Ciao.